Hi Good DIYs! Welcome back to my channel! Kat here again and for today, I'll be sharing with you on what do I do with tiny portions of my yarn. So yung mga tira or yarn remainder. Normally, when ganito na siya kaonte, kasi when you use like this, I tend to do the center pull than the outer pull kapag bullet tight na yarn. Kasi pag sa outer, nag, ano siya, di ba, parang gumugulong. So, nasanay ako sa center pull. Pero watch out, kasi if you um, you go to the center, minsan may yarn barf. Barf? Ba yun? <laughs> parang bola. <laughs> Yung bola ng isang tumpok na yarn. So, it, this is also a bit tricky to get. And, um, the only downside, if you're doing a center pull, or dun sa loob ng bullet type na yarn, as you go along, uh, magko-collapse na siya. Like this one. Malambot na siya. Kasi nawawala na yung laman niya sa loob. Which, I have a sample here. So this one, I did on my previous project. This is the color that I use on my Yoda project. So I was able to produce, I think, 2 or 3 Yodas already. And see? It already collapsed like this because I did a center pull. And these are some that I already attempted to wind. And since I'm doing center pull, it collapsed din siya, so I rewind it. Just a brief background. It's been almost a year since I've been doing crochet before I had my yarn winder, which I'll be showing it to you in this video. So if you can imagine, ano yung ginagawa ko dun sa mga ganito na tira kong yarns. I tend to wind it by hand. It works. Okay naman siya. By, by hand na lang. Yung, yung rorolyohin mo lang na ganun. My aunt gave me a yarn winder. So, it's been with me for um, a while na. And I can say that it's very helpful and medyo therapeutic siya sa akin when I use it. Your yarn will look pretty again. <laughs> I'll be sharing with you a sample of my already winded yarns that I will store back in my yarn container. So see, now these are already my small chunks of yarn na na-wind ko na and I can easily store them back again. Kasi they are already in balls. So, see, you can you can still do a center pole. Um, pwede din dito sa side. So, ayun, it's up to you. I'm still opting to do a center pull para hindi nag kumugulong yung yarn ko when I do projects. Let's begin! I'll be sharing with you how I wind my yarns and the brand of yarn winder that I'm using. So, this is the yarn winder. So, when this came, it comes in a small box na this, um, to be attached and this one and this one too. So I placed it on a high chair. So by the way this um this is made by my uncle. So this is also handmade. See I'm also repurposing this as a laptop table because it's higher than my working table when I do videos. So I can easily access my laptop because it's medyo matasya na kunti. you know medyo malapit lang siya sa akin in my working area. So, this is my rolling caddy. So, para yun din yung pinagsustoran ko ng mga gamit ko when I do video. It's beside me. So, there is uh, parang screw na may clamp here para ma magiging in place siya dito sa platform mo. So, you need a sturdy table or surface where you can fix or set your yarn winder. So, wala nang something magical dito. It does the job. The brand is, the, the brand is Knit Picks. So, give it an S. So, ayun lang. Handle turn direction. So, you need to always do that side. I'll be sharing with you how to use the winder. It's pretty much the same. Pag manual winder, if I'm not mistaken. So, even the ones that you can buy locally from Shopee, from Lazada, it's the same. Just so happy na 
um, <laughs> galing to sa US. This was from my aunt. So, yun. The color is, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's parang plum and with gray upper part. It does the job. It winds my yarns. And, ayun. So, I'll show it to you. How to use it? Let's begin winding using the leaf green yarn, the leftover yarn that I used with the uh, Yoda Amigurumi. So you need to insert the tail in this. This is the yarn guide that will control the tension of the yarn winder. There is a gap here where you will insert the tail. So you can easily pull it out once you're done winding. So I'll be holding the yarn like this way for um, controlling the tension as well. I don't want it too tight, especially that I'm using the majority of the yarns that I'm using contains acrylic. So it's 80% cotton, 20% acrylic because the fiber, fiber of acrylic tends to if you will, if you will wind it too tight, ah, uh, parang pansin ko it, it it tends to get too stretchy, so parang nasisira yung fiber niya, um, producing a bit of fluff, so parang numini piece, okay? So I'll begin winding. Once you're done, you can tuck the tail. It, it will still be accessible for you. There. Remove the, the inner tail from the gap. And there you go. This is the inner tail. You can insert it here. And you can tuck the outer tail on the sides. basket where I wind all my yarns and I'll place it back on my yarn drawer. So that's it. Um, I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something from winding your yarns aside from doing the hand winding and if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click the thumbs up button if you like this video and if you want to be notified on my future videos hit the bell button okay thank you the DIYs see you on my next video bye if you are wondering the DIYs how was I able to take a video DIY style without any assistance it would be because of the help of this <laughs> so this is a ordinary bendy cell phone holder because I'm using only mobile phone and taking my videos this is a hundred pesos I think or less so there and I clamp it on on my rack so there you go I'm also using this um, mobile phone holder on all my videos so it's very um, helpful for the price of it it really does the job so there you go another DIY item or repurposing it aside from just holding my mobile phone it's really handy in all my vlogs so thumbs up for this yeah!